Video game pre-orders have become such a controversial subject over the past two years. It's crazy to see that like big YouTubers like Total Biscuit and Jim Sterling are totally boycotting them, but for good reason, because a lot of times what game companies do is give great pre-order bonuses and content that you can't access until after the game is released in order to entice you to buy the game early with the pre-order system. But when they do that, they usually get the money beforehand if you take your pre-order all outright. And even if you only give $5, that still is a little bit too much for certain companies, and they release a shitty product. And we've seen this played over with so many games in the past. Assassin's Creed Unity, one of the biggest ones. And now we have games that are in pre-order craze right now, which are fucking controversial as hell. Like um, that Deuce X augment your pre-order shit. Like, did you guys ever see any of that shit? I know I didn't really talk about it or mention it, but I've been on top of it myself. So... Pre-orders are controversial. We all know this, right? Apparently, they are now higher than ever. And of course they are, because there's so many companies that are using them to their advantage now. Naturally, because of the way that we react to pre-orders and a lot of people jump on top of them, even though their original purpose is not really necessary anymore because in the day back in the days there used to be such a limited stock on certain items because production companies weren't as advanced as they are now so in terms of like getting the game out there for everybody it wasn't possible back in like you know 1999 2002 whatever the case may be those time periods but now production is usually overwhelming so there's games for everyone pre-orders are kind of irrelevant now depends on your area though i know here in new york city they pretty much don't mean anything because you'll be able to get a copy of the game regardless of if you pre-order or not. But their purpose now is to give these companies a little bit of a knowledge on how many people are going to buy their game. And for some companies, it's enough of an incentive for them to not work on the game as much and pull out a shitty product. Or on top of it all, pre-orders force you to make uninformed decisions as consumers due to the fact that a lot of times reviews aren't out for the product yet when the pre-orders are there. You're already giving the company money when you don't know what it's going to be like. And there have been too many shitty games that have had pre-order bonuses and that force people to buy them ahead of time. It's a fucked up practice overall. And it's, it's just bastardized into something that's toxic. Pre-orders are up this year. I, I'm sorry, I went off topic with that whole thing. Well, I, actually, I didn't go off topic. I just rambled on, man, because it's the goddamn truth. Um, let's look at this article from My Nintendo News. This will be linked in the description, so go and check it out when you have the time. Um, we're going to take a look at this, man. So it seems as though pre-orders of video games are only increasing despite there being a number of high-profile releases that suffered from rocky launches. I just mentioned a couple of those. Well, just Unity, but there's been plenty more. Data obtained by Adobe Analytics show that pre-orders are up 24% this year. The company also mentioned that pre-order revenue is up 33% year over year. And here's what the results obtained by Adobe Analytics gets even stranger. They found that sadness was the emotion most often associated with pre-orders, with 33% of those polled picking that feeling. More positive emotions like joy and admiration represent 18% each of those polled. Yeah, that's definitely... That's definitely an eyebrow raiser right there. Sadness being the emotion that most of the people that took these polls about pre-orders reported on. I can understand that, though, because, like I said, you pay money for this pre-order and you get the game and it turns out to be shit or something else fucked up. And EA is guilty of this. There's so many companies that have shit on their plate when it comes to the pre-order thing. It's gone out of control and it's kind of sad to see that they're up. Because even though we are on the internet and we make decisions as informed consumers a lot of the time, there's a whole world of people, kids, adults out there who don't use the internet actively to be able to research the games that they want to buy and that simply walk into GameStop or, you know, go to the online shop with their, you know, PS4 or their, their 3DS or, and they just buy the games outright or pre-order them outright like that. And those people, I feel bad for them because they are the they are they're the they're, excuse me they're the majority of the consumer. Like you and I, the informed internet consumer, we're not a, major, a majority at all. I keep saying minority and majority. I've been mixing those up, but this pre-order thing, I'm just hoping that it gets curtailed at some point and reeled in because companies companies need to understand that if people are paying money for a product outright, then it should be a complete finished product this this pre-order thing is going out of control and the bonuses that it's giving uh, i don't know man I, I just don't see it being a good thing in a year or two i mean they keep going higher and higher so there's more incentive now for companies to give better pre-order bonuses than to actually work on their fucking game anyways guys i'll talk to you in the next video kind of a shocking title to read on my end considering how many videos are out there that talk about the the the, the cons of pre-ordering and how it hurts the gaming community and destroys the informed decisions of the consumer but at the end of the day we're only the minority of a majority of people out there who do not frequent articles like this who do not look at videos that talk about the the, the horrible practices that these companies do it's sad 
Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. And keep making your informed decisions.